Hey guys! So, today I'm going to answer a subscriber question that it may be as off topic as it gets. We're going to talk about coffee. Oh, so just, yeah, let's just get into it. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest here, guys. I, I was a little bit surprised at this one because I, okay. All right, let's talk about coffee. Um, it's not, that's not really what I do on this little channel, but I thought to myself, hey, let's, let's give it a bash and talk about, let's not talk about coffee specifically, but let's talk about energy. Let's talk about energizing yourself because one of the things, it depends on your view, of course. Like if you, uh, I, I'm personally, that's kind of why I couldn't even start to comment on coffee because I don't drink coffee at all. None, I never, never, ever. And so it kind of makes, it puts me in the situation, all right, how do I answer that question? Well, as you may suspect, I'm just going to t take my own interpretation of it. I'm going, as I said, I'm going to t try to kind of define for you energy and the importance of having a certain amount of energy when you're working. And it's also why you shouldn't work late unless you really have to. Let's just, let's just walk through it. So getting to know yourself and your daily routines is fairly valuable to you because when you start working as a software developer you will find and you probably already have in other areas of your life you will find that there are certain tasks that give you energy there are certain tasks that take energy and on different parts of the day you may have high energy or low energy i mean some people are really tired after they've had lunch all that good stuff and one of the things that makes software development fairly tricky for people who have this kind of need to move around more or to be more active is that it requires you to be almost fully focused for a very long time and that it takes a lot, great deal of concentration to be able to do that to sit for hours and hours and hours and just focus on a problem and keep the focus up because the thing is when you start getting tired that's when things are going to come and bite you I've, I don't know how many times I have made the unfortunate mistake of making either a code review or writing on some extra complicated feature at the end of the day. When I, I me personally, I am, I'm a morning person, so I lose energy and I go low energy, I get very, very low on energy by the end of the day. And when I start doing those sorts of tasks, I usually end up making quite a few mistakes because I'm not alert enough to actually do it well my brain just kind of you know flips on and off and the work suffers for it so what i try to do is that i try i, I don't drink all that much but uh, I, I try to avoid drinking too much soda and so forth but i usually have some type of soda with a little bit of sugar or something like that by just by the end of the day by to kind of get me through the, the last few hours and i think that the sort the sort of same mentality applies to drinking coffee where I, drinking coffee just to keeping your to keep your energy high all the time if you're the sort of person that can do that that's great but the main point about it is to try to keep your energy level high and to try to avoid working late because um, so software development is very often a quality type of thing or it's almost exclusively a quality type of deal where it, uh, you, you can't really be productive and make good efforts to, to, to get somewhere unless you're you know, in the room, if you will, unless you have the energy to actually do that. So basically what I want you to take away from this is to kind of get to know yourself, to figure out like when you have high energy, when you have low energy, because as I said, you will find that, I mean, if you spend your entire day working on a really tricky bug, that's gonna like drain you quick, quite quickly, uh, as opposed to maybe having a really interesting feature to implement or something like that. Or maybe it's going to be the other way around. It depends on you. But I, I highly urge you to, when you're working, depending on when you're high energy, low energy, try to put your task, like the thing that is very, like requires a lot of concentration, a lot of effort, put that when you have high energy and try to get the things that are like meetings and stuff of that nature. I put, just try to get those done when you're low energy and always, always keep something with you, like snacks, in my case, it's like a soda or something like that or coffee or some something like that to just give you that extra boost when you start dropping because 
you need to keep that energy up in order to make sure that you're not missing something when you're reading somebody else's code or when you're implementing your own features. Have a great day.